The Standard Generalized Markup Language (SGML) ISO 8879-1986 is a standard for defining generalized markup languages for documents. ISO 8879 Annex A.1 defines generalized markup. Generalized markup is based on two postulates. Markup should be declarative, it should describe a document's structure and other attributes, rather than specify the processing to be performed on it. Declarative markup is less likely to conflict with unforeseen future processing needs and techniques. Markup should be rigorous so that the techniques available for processing rigorously defined objects like programs and databases can be used for processing documents as well. HTML was theoretically an example of an SGML-based language until HTML5, which browsers cannot parse as SGML for compatibility reasons. DocBook SGML and Linux Doc are examples which were used almost exclusively with actual SGML tools. Topic: <laughs> Standard versions. SGML is an ISO standard. ISO 8879-1986 Information Processing, Text and Office Systems, Standard Generalized Markup Language SGML. Of which there are three versions Original SGML, which was accepted in October 1986, followed by a minor technical corrigendum. SGML in 1996, resulted from a technical corrigendum to add extended naming rules allowing arbitrary language and script markup. SGML ENR plus WWW or Web's GML, in 1998, resulted from a technical corrigendum to better support XML and WWW requirements. SGML is part of a trio of enabling ISO standards for electronic documents developed by ISO, IEC JTC 1, SC 34, ISO, IEC Joint Technical Committee 1, Subcommittee 34 Document Description and Processing Languages. SGML ISO 8879 Generalized Markup Language SGML was reworked in 1998 into XML, a successful profile of SGML. Full SGML is rarely found or used in new projects. DSSSL ISO IEC 10179 Document Processing and Styling Language based on Scheme. DSSSL was reworked into W3C XSLT and XSL FO which use an XML syntax. Nowadays, DSSSL is rarely used in new projects apart from Linux documentation. HighTime — Generalized Hypertext and Scheduling — HighTime was partially reworked into W3C XLink. HighTime is rarely used in new projects. SGML is supported by various technical reports, in particular, ISO, IEC TR 9573 Information Processing, SGML Support Facilities, Techniques for Using SGML Part 13, Public Entity Sets for Mathematics and Science In 2007, the W3C MathML Working Group agreed to assume the maintenance of these entity sets. History SGML descended from IBM's Generalized Markup Language GML, which Charles Goldfarb, Edward Mosier, and Raymond Lorry developed in the 1960s. Goldfarb, editor of the International Standard, coined the GML term using their surname initials. Goldfarb also wrote the definitive work on SGML syntax in the SGML Handbook. The syntax of SGML is closer to the COCO format. As a document markup language, SGML was originally designed to enable the sharing of machine-readable large project documents in government, law, and industry. Many such documents must remain readable for several decades—a long time in the information technology field. SGML also was extensively applied by the military, and the aerospace, technical reference, and industrial publishing industries. The advent of the XML profile has made SGML suitable for widespread application for small-scale, general-purpose use. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Document validity. SGML ENR plus WWW defines two kinds of validity. 
According to the revised terms and definitions of ISO 8879 from the public draft, a conforming SGML document must be either a type valid SGML document, a tag valid SGML document, or both. Note, a user may wish to enforce additional constraints on a document, such as whether a document instance is integrally stored or free of entity references. A type valid SGML document is defined by the standard as an SGML document in which, for each document instance, there is an associated document type declaration DTD to whose DTD that instance conforms. A tag valid SGML document is defined by the standard as an SGML document, all of whose document instances are fully tagged. There need not be a document type declaration associated with any of the instances. Note, if there is a document type declaration, the instance can be parsed with or without reference to it. Topic. Terminology Tag validity was introduced in SGML ENR plus WWW to support XML which allows documents with no doctype declaration but which can be parsed without a grammar or documents which have a doctype declaration that makes no XML infoset contributions to the document. The standard calls this fully tagged. Integrally stored reflects the XML requirement that elements end in the same entity in which they started. Reference free reflects the HTML requirement that entity references are for special characters and do not contain markup. SGML validity commentary, especially commentary that was made before 1997 or that is unaware of SGML ENR plus WWW, covers type validity only. The SGML emphasis on validity supports the requirement for generalized markup that markup should be rigorous. ISO 8879A.1 Topic. Syntax An SGML document may have three parts The SGML declaration The prologue, containing a doctype declaration with the various markup declarations that together make a document type definition DTD, and the instance itself, containing one top most element and its contents, an SGML document may be composed from many entities discrete pieces of text. In SGML, the entities and element types used in the document may be specified with a DTD, the different character sets, features, delimiter sets, and keywords are specified in the SGML declaration to create the concrete syntax of the document. Although full SGML allows implicit markup and some other kinds of tags, the XML specification S4.3.1 states Each XML document has both a logical and a physical structure. Physically, the document is composed of units called entities. An entity may refer to other entities to cause their inclusion in the document. A document begins in a root or document entity. Logically, the document is composed of declarations, elements, comments, character references, and processing instructions, all of which are indicated in the document by explicit markup. For introductory information on a basic, modern SGML syntax, see XML. The following material concentrates on features not in XML and is not a comprehensive summary of SGML syntax. Topic. Optional features. SGML generalizes and supports a wide range of markup languages as found in the mid-1980s. These ranged from terse wiki-like syntaxes to RTF-like bracketed languages to HTML-like matching tag languages. SGML did this by a relatively simple default reference concrete syntax augmented with a large number of optional features that could be enabled in the SGML declaration. Not every SGML parser can necessarily process every SGML document. Because each processor's system declaration can be compared to the document's SGML declaration it is always possible to know whether a document is supported by a particular processor. Many SGML features relate to markup minimization. Other features relate to concurrent parallel markup concur, to linking processing attributes link, and to embedding SGML documents within SGML documents SUBDOC. The notion of customizable features was not appropriate for web use, so one goal of XML was to minimize optional features. 
However XML's well-formedness rules cannot support wiki-like languages, leaving them unstandardized and difficult to integrate with non-text information systems. Topic concrete and abstract syntaxes The usual default SGML concrete syntax resembles this example, which is the default HTML concrete syntax. SGML provides an abstract syntax that can be implemented in many different types of concrete syntax. Although the markup norm is using angle brackets as start and end tag delimiters in an SGML document per the standard defined reference concrete syntax, it is possible to use other characters, provided a suitable concrete syntax is defined in the document's SGML declaration. For example, an SGML interpreter might be programmed to parse GML, wherein the tags are delimited with a left colon and a right full stop, thus, an E prefix denotes an end tag, XMP, hello, world, EXMP. According to the reference syntax, letter case upper or lower is not distinguished in tag names, thus the three tags, I, E, and E are equivalent. Note, a concrete syntax might change this rule via the NAMECASE naming declarations. Topic markup minimization SGML has features for reducing the number of characters required to mark up a document, which must be enabled in the SGML declaration. SGML processors need not support every available feature, thus allowing applications to tolerate many types of inadvertent markup omissions, however, SGML systems usually are intolerant of invalid structures. XML is intolerant of syntax omissions, and does not require a DTD for checking well-formedness. Topic OMITTAG Both start tags and end tags may be omitted from a document instance, provided, the OMITTAG feature is enabled in the SGML declaration. The DTD indicates that the tags are permitted to be omitted. For start tags, the element has no associated required hashtag REQUIRED attributes, and the tag can be unambiguously inferred by context. For example, if OMITTAG yes is specified in the SGML declaration, enabling the OMITTAG TTAG feature, and the DTD includes the following declarations, then this excerpt, which omits two tags and two tags, would represent valid markup. Note also that omitting tags is optional, the same excerpt could be tagged like this, and would still represent valid markup. Note, the OMITTAG feature is unrelated to the tagging of elements whose declared content is empty as defined in the DTD. Elements defined like this have no end tag, and specifying one in the document instance would result in invalid markup. This is syntactically different than XML empty elements in this regard. Topic SHORTREF tags can be replaced with delimiter strings, for a terser markup, via the SHORTREF feature. This markup style is now associated with wiki markup, e.g. wherein two equals signs equals smiley face, at the start of a line, are the heading start tag, and two equals signs equals smiley face, after that are the heading end tag. Topic SHORTTAG SGML Markup languages whose concrete syntax enables the SHORTTAG value feature, do not require attribute values containing only alphanumeric characters to be enclosed within quotation marks, either double lit or single lita, so that the previous markup example could be written. One feature of SGML markup languages is the presumptuous empty tagging, such that the empty end tag in this inherits its value from the nearest previous full start tag, which, in this example, example, is, in other words, it closes the most recently opened item. The expression is thus equivalent to this. Topic net Another feature is the net null end tag construction, this. Topic other features Additionally, the SHORTTAG NETENABLIMMEDNET feature allows shortening tags surrounding an empty text value, but forbids shortening full tags, can be written as wherein the first slash stands for the net enabling start tag close NESTC, and the second slash stands for the net. Note, XML defines NESTC with a, and net with an greater than angled bracket, hence the corresponding construct in XML appears as the third feature is text on the same line, allowing a markup item to be ended with a line end, especially useful for headings and such, requiring using either SHORTREF or DATATAG minimization. For example, if the DTD includes the following declarations, and, and hashtag RE, and hashtag RS, is a short reference delimiter in the concrete syntax, then, is equivalent to, topic formal characterization SGML has many features that defied convenient description with the popular formal automata theory and the contemporary parser technology of the 1980s and the 1990s. 
The standard warns in Annex H, the SGML model group notation was deliberately designed to resemble the regular expression notation of automata theory, because automata theory provides a theoretical foundation for some aspects of the notion of conformance to a content model. No assumption should be made about the general applicability of automata to content models. A report on an early implementation of a parser for basic SGML, the Amsterdam SGML parser, notes the DTD grammar in SGML must conform to a notion of unambiguity which closely resembles the LL conditions and specifies various differences. There appears to be no definitive classification of full SGML against a known class of formal grammar. Plausible classes may include tree adjoining grammars and adaptive grammars. XML is described as being generally parsable like a two-level grammar for non-validated XML and a Conway-style pipeline of coroutines lexer, parser, validator for valid XML. The SGML productions in the ISO standard are reported to be LL or LL XML class subsets are reported to be expressible using AW grammar. According to one paper, and probably considered at an information set or parse tree level rather than a character or delimiter level, the class of documents that conform to a given SGML document grammar forms an LL language. The SGML document grammars by themselves are, however, not LL grammars. The SGML standard does not define SGML with formal data structures, such as parse trees. However, an SGML document is constructed of a rooted directed acyclic graph RDAG of physical storage units known as entities, which is parsed into a RDAG of structural units known as elements. The physical graph is loosely characterized as an entity tree, but entities might appear multiple times. Moreover, the structure graph is also loosely characterized as an element tree, but the ID, IDREF markup allows arbitrary arcs. The results of parsing can also be understood as a data tree in different notations, where the document is the root node, and entities in other notations text, graphics, are child nodes. SGML provides apparatus for linking to and annotating external non-SGML entities. The SGML standard describes it in terms of maps and recognition modes S9.6.1. Each entity, and each element, can have an associated notation or declared content type, which determines the kinds of references and tags which will be recognized in that entity and element. Also, each element can have an associated delimiter map and short reference map, which determines which characters are treated as delimiters in context. The SGML standard characterizes parsing as a state machine switching between recognition modes. During parsing, there is a stack of maps that configure the scanner, while the tokenizer relates to the recognition modes. Parsing involves traversing the dynamically retrieved entity graph, finding, implying tags and the element structure, and validating those tags against the grammar. An unusual aspect of SGML is that the grammar DTD is used both passively, to recognize lexical structures, and actively, to generate missing structures and tags that the DTD has declared optional. End and start tags can be omitted, because they can be inferred. Loosely, a series of tags can be omitted only if there is a single, possible path in the grammar to imply them. It was this active use of grammars that made concrete SGML parsing difficult to formally characterize. SGML uses the term validation for both recognition and generation. XML does not use the grammar DTD to change delimiter maps or to inform the parse modes, and does not allow tag omission. Consequently, XML validation of elements is not active in the sense that SGML validation is active. SGML without a DTD, e.g., simple XML, is a grammar or a language. SGML with a DTD is a metalanguage. SGML with an SGML declaration is, perhaps, a meta-metalanguage, since it is a metalanguage whose declaration mechanism is a metalanguage. SGML has an abstract syntax implemented by many possible concrete syntaxes, however, this is not the same usage as in an abstract syntax tree and as in a concrete syntax tree. In the SGML usage, a concrete syntax is a set of specific delimiters, while the abstract syntax is the set of names for the delimiters. The XML infoset corresponds more to the programming language notion of abstract syntax introduced by John McCarthy. Topic: Derivatives. Topic: XML. 
The W3CXML extensible markup language is a profile subset of SGML designed to ease the implementation of the parser compared to a full SGML parser, primarily for use on the World Wide Web. In addition to disabling many SGML options present in the reference syntax such as omitting tags and nested subdocuments XML adds a number of additional restrictions on the kinds of SGML syntax. For example, despite enabling SGML shortened tag forms, XML does not allow unclosed start or end tags. It also relied on many of the additions made by the web's GML annex. XML currently is more widely used than full SGML. XML has lightweight internationalization based on Unicode. Applications of XML include XHTML, XQuery, XSLT, XForms, XPointer, JSP, SVG, RSS, Atom, XML RPC, RDF, XML, and SOAP. <laughs> HTML While HTML was developed partially independently and in parallel with SGML, its creator, Tim Berners-Lee, intended it to be an application of SGML. The design of HTML hypertext markup language was therefore inspired by SGML tagging, but, since no clear expansion and parsing guidelines were established, most actual HTML documents are not valid SGML documents. Later, HTML was reformulated version 2.0 to be more of an SGML application. However, the HTML markup language has many legacy and exception handling features that differ from SGML's requirements. HTML4 is an SGML application that fully conforms to ISO 8879 SGML, the charter for the 2006 revival of the World Wide Web Consortium HTML Working Group says. The group will not assume that an SGML parser is used for classic HTML. Although HTML syntax closely resembles SGML syntax with the default reference concrete syntax, HTML5 abandons any attempt to define HTML as an SGML application, explicitly defining its own parsing rules, which more closely match existing implementations and documents. It does, however, define an alternative XHTML serialization, which conforms to XML and therefore to SGML as well. OED The second edition of the Oxford English Dictionary OED, is entirely marked up with an SGML-based markup language, the third edition is marked up as XML. Others. Other document markup languages are partly related to SGML and XML, but because they cannot be parsed or validated or otherwise processed using standard SGML and XML tools they are not considered either SGML or XML languages. The Z format markup language for typesetting and documentation is an example. Several modern programming languages support tags as primitive token types, or now support Unicode and regular expression pattern matching. An example is the Scala programming language. Topic. Applications Document markup languages defined using SGML are called applications. By the standard, many pre-XML SGML applications were proprietary property of the organizations which developed them, and thus unavailable in the World Wide Web. The following list is of pre-XML SGML applications. TE Text Encoding Initiative is an academic consortium that designs, maintains, and develops technical standards for digital format textual representation applications. DocBook is a markup language originally created as an SGML application, designed for authoring technical documentation. DocBook currently is an XML application. CALS Continuous Acquisition and Life Cycle Support is a U.S. Department of Defense DOD initiative for electronically capturing military documents and for linking related data and information. HighTime defines a set of hypertext-oriented element types that allow SGML document authors to build hypertext and multimedia presentations. 
Edgar Electronic Data Gathering, Analysis, and Retrieval System Effects Automated Collection, Validation, Indexing, Acceptance, and Forwarding of Submissions, by companies and others, who are legally required to file data and information forms with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. LinuxDoc. Documentation for Linux packages has used the LinuxDoc SGML DTD and DocBook XML DTD. AAPDTD is a document type definition for scientific documents, defined by the Association of American Publishers. SGML GUID was an early SGML document type definition created, developed and used at CERN. Topic. Open source implementations Significant open source implementations of SGML have included ASP SGML ARC SGML, by Standard Generalized Markup Language Users, 1991, C Language SGMLS, by James Clark, 1993, C Language Project Yao, by Yuan Zi Institute of Technology, Taiwan, with Charles Goldfarb, 1994, Object SP by James Clark, C++ Language ESP and Jade, the associated DSSSL processors, are maintained by the OpenJade project, and are common parts of Linux distributions. A general archive of SGML software and materials resides at Sunit. The original HTML parser class, in Sun Systems implementation of Java, is a limited features SGML parser, using SGML terminology and concepts. See also SGML Open S Expression DSSSL, a scheme-based processing language similar to XSL Latex List of general purpose markup languages Markup language SGML entity Hightime Tag omission XML References External links Overview of SGML resources at W3C's website Introduction and examples of software documentation in SGML SC34 Committee Records, Charles Babbage Institute, Collection on the Development of SGML and Other Standards Influential in the Development of Current XML Tools, Documents include early drafts of SGML administrative materials, documentation, working group papers, and standards for computer languages. SGML Syntax Summary by Charles Goldfarb SGML document introducing you to SGML, some reasons why SGML is important The SGML declaration, in SGML and HTML explained, Martin Bryan 1997, the original URL is broken at http colon slash slash www.is-thought.co.uk slash book slash sgml-4 htm hash fig 4-2 closing parenthesis SGML Declarations Wayne Wohler, IBM Corporation, 1994. ISO 9069-1988 Information Processing, SGML Support Facilities, SGML Document Interchange Format SDIF. ISO, IEC 9070-1991 Information Technology, SGML Support Facilities, Registration Procedures for Public Text Owner Identifiers